I discovered this spot a couple days ago and I came and tried to fish it. And within the first couple cast, we had a monster come up to our bait, kind of swirled at it a little bit. And then he kind of just turned around and left. And uh, I've had a couple follows, a couple bites here at this spot, but I wanted to come back today and give it another shot and see what kind of monsters we have lurking in this spot. This spot is actually only like two minutes away from my house. So you can't complain with a fishing spot like that. We've had off and on rain today, which can cause an absolute fishing frenzy. It's actually sprinkling a little bit right now. So let's hope that turns the fishing on. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's actually a little bit sunny here at this spot too. We got the waders on as well. And I actually got my net because I know how big a fish there can be in this river. So let's go ahead, get you guys on the hat. Let's see what kind of luck we can get here today. All right, so we got this rock down here. That'll kind of give us somewhere sturdy to stand on. First thing we're gonna start out casting, we got this silver and blue phobe. We'll get a little bit of life out of this water. The sun should be helping us a little bit too. I'm gonna try just reeling it right in first before we try jigging it. Nothing on the first cast, but that's all right. That doesn't mean nothing. The water is a little bit murky, so we might have to start jigging it if we don't get any bites within a certain amount of time here. Try casting up a little bit. The water's actually a lot more murky than I thought it would have been, but I've caught in some pretty nice fish when the water's murky. I mean, it doesn't make too much of a difference. It's obviously a little bit harder for these fish to see with murky water. My drag is really loose. That's pretty good right there. Let's try jigging it now. We'll see if we can get a big brown to light us up here. Since I got my waders on, there's a spot that's a little ways down river that I wanted to try to wade, but if the water is this murky, then I don't know if we're gonna end up doing it or not. But there is a spot down there that we can uh, fish without having to use our waders. And I have had fish follow there too, so. All depends on what we're looking like here, if anything's gonna bite. We did have uh, some pretty good rain on Saturday. And I checked this spot on Sunday and it was about like this. And, uh, but Sunday was uh, really nice. It didn't really rain. So I'm confused why it's still murky like this, especially after we've had some good sunny days. It rained today, but it wasn't any heavy rain by any sorts. Here's the sun we've been looking for. I'm gonna give it one more cast here at this spot before we move on down to the other spot. I'm just gonna cast it right along down there. We'll just kind of slowly retrieve it. Give it a little jig every once in a while down through here. No luck. Not even a follow down here. Could be that it's uh, the bait we're using. That could be a part of it. And it also could be that the fish have moved downstream. But, uh, only one way to tell. That's why we're gonna go ahead, we'll head downstream just a hair and see if we can get a little bit more luck down there. All right, we're coming up on the spot now. It looks a lot better down here. Water's still a little bit murky down here, but the sun's hitting better at this spot, which with using a shiny phobe should help us out in our favor. Yeah, just look at how good this looks through here. Tell me this does not look fishy. Let's hope something sees us here. Oh, we might have just gotten bit. I felt a sing. Oh my God, did you just see? What? I can't believe we caught that on camera. I don't even think that was a trout. I think that was like a creek chub or something like that. What was that? It just jumped right out of the water right in front of us. try to get to where he was kind of sitting and just jig this right in front of him here. I'm gonna do one more cast with this phobe and I'm gonna switch us over to a rooster tail. And we're gonna see if maybe something a little bit smaller, more natural looking, will get them to bite. That fish jumping here caught me by surprise and it just happened so fast. 
I wasn't able to see what kind of fish it was. But I don't think that it necessarily looked like a trout. I think it kind of looked more like a creek chub or something like that. And if it was a creek chub, that was one big creek chub. I know that for sure. Could be that it was just a nice, decent brown trout. All right, so what I'm thinking is we'll try something. This is what we'll try. All right, so this is the rooster tail we're gonna use here. It has this nice sparkle, dark mocha color. Just a gold color spinner on it. I think this will be good for catching uh, any size trout, really. And any fish in general. If there's any other fish in here other than trout, they'll bite this as well, so. This will actually work in our favor. That phobe that I had tied on before, it was a, uh, it's pretty big size. So it is possible that uh, if there is smaller trout in here, they might deter from biting it. <laughs> Just simply because it was so big and it's not really the most natural color either. So we'll see if this will change our luck here today. Get the bag all packed back up. Our net is connected to our bag too, so pretty much have to have our bag back on us here just in case we have a monster on. All right, let's see if they like the rooster tail. Can't really cast as far, but should give us some pretty good action. Oh, there we go. We're casting at pretty good distance here. There we go, fish on, boys. There we go. There's a fish on. Wait a second. Hold up. Is this a wild rainbow? We're all tangled up here. I think this might be a wild rainbow, boys. That is, oh my goodness. Just a wild rainbow trout. Just absolutely gorgeous. He's squirming pretty good. Let me grab my pliers out of my bag here. That way we can get this hook out of him and get him back in the water as soon as possible. He is squirmy. Wow. Let me just get him back in the net so I'm not holding him. Look at how beautiful this trout is. Just a gorgeous wild rainbow trout. I'm gonna walk over to this beach. I don't want to disturb the water over here. That's just a beautiful rainbow trout though. We might have to revive him a little bit. There he goes. Wow. I did not think that we were gonna catch a wild rainbow trout. If you told me that I was gonna catch a wild rainbow trout out of here today, I would have told you that you're lying. What in the world? <laughs> that is so cool, guys. I think I'm more excited about the wild rainbow than I am about catching like a big brown trout. That is so cool. So that's a cool thing about this river too. So all through this stretch, you cannot catch and keep any trout. It's immediate catch and release. And you can't use worms. You have to use all artificial lures. So, a long time ago, they used to stock this river with browns and rainbows, and it just got fished out so heavy. But I didn't know that the rainbows were still populating in this river. I thought it was just brown trout. That is so cool. Really makes me wonder, too, if we'll catch another one here at this spot, or if we'll end up catching a brown. I kind of tangled up there for a second. That is so cool. I'm just realizing too right now that uh, I set the hook a little extreme on him. Oh, 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 there was another one, there was another one. He came up, bit it, and he missed. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, oh, another one. He keeps missing it. I think that was two separate trout. They're sitting right up in here. He just swirled it again. Wait, what? What's on the end of our line right now? It's like a little stick or something. Dang, that could have uh, deterred that trout. We need to get back out there. I want to catch that other trout. I think it might be another wild rainbow. Need that sun to come back out. Oh boy. I don't think we're gonna have sun back out for a while now. I don't know if that's gonna turn down the fishing or if we'll still be able to get some luck here. We'll see if we can still get some luck. So it turns out that at this spot, they love the rooster tail way more than they like spoons. Looks like we caught a piece of grass. I hope that sun comes back out sooner than later. Okay, here's that sun. And we're not gonna have it long. We gotta take advantage of it while we have it. Perfect cast. Bring it right across here now. 
Oh, come on, that was perfect flashing. Looks like we have some rain coming right now. I might try to just jig it right here. Oh, what in the world? I'm gonna let that sink for a little bit before retrieving it in. There might be some more trout sitting deep. So I'm willing to bet, now that I think about it, that that fish that jumped right here was a wild rainbow. Because when I said that it didn't look like anything I would think of out of here, that's kind of what I was talking about. I'm not seeing nothing else. So I think what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take us down onto this little beach area. We'll cast right where that other water is running through. See if we can catch anything down there. And then we might wade down depending on the visibility of the water. And maybe I'll wade on down to where it's also deep again. So let's go try that out. All right, I gotta be careful wading through here because I don't want to disturb the water too much. It's actually more shallow right there, but it's closer to the main body of water. So I'm just gonna walk on down here and we'll just cross right along this here since I have my waders on. Yeah, see this looks pretty good through here. We'll try out here for a little bit. If I had to guess, more trout would want to be sitting right where this fast water is going across. Oh, that's perfect. Nothing on that cat. Just gonna keep walking down right here. We're just gonna keep working our way right on down this stretch until we get to that other deep spot. It looks pretty deep all through that back canal. All right, I'm gonna walk until I can't see in the water anymore. This would be easier if that sun came back out, but I think the sun is somewhere in the back of these clouds. If this cloud would hurry up and move across, I would have sunlight up in here again. Again, we're just gonna keep moving our way down here. Yeah, I don't know how much further I dare go. And I can't really see what's in front of me. I can just barely see rocks in front of me. And I know that it's like rather, it's like this height continuing down. But if I can't really see that well, I don't dare go any further. Unless that sun decides to come back out. So we're gonna get headed back up here. I wanna fish this Y again and see if we can get that other trout that was trying to bite us. See if we can get him to bite again. All right, well, we just broke off our rooster tail. So we're gonna have to tie on something else. I think I might have another rooster tail that might be good in here, or at least another spinner that might be good. So I think this is what we're actually gonna go with. It's a Panther Martin. That might be what I try. I also have this black rooster tail which might also do good. Decisions, decisions. I might actually go with the black rooster tail. I changed my mind. That Panther Martin had this like weird paint job on it. And uh, I think these fish are gonna bite something that's more just flashy. And since it's a black rooster tail, it's kind of more universal, so. And that sun is back out too. So we definitely gotta hurry up and get this tied on. And see what else we can get going here. All right, we got the black rooster tail all tied on now. Let's go ahead and see if the black rooster tail will get us a bite. It looks really good in the water. I thought for sure that something was gonna bite us right there. It's just perfectly in that sunlit hole right there. I wonder actually, now that I'm looking, it looks like there might be a spot for us to cast from over here. Oh yeah, it looks like it. It looks like we might be able to cast right down and bring it up through this fast water. Oh, this looks perfect. Oh, boys. Even up in here, I think this is gonna be money. Water's running really fast. Let me see if I can go stand right over here. And I'll just cast right upstream from here. We might go head back up to that spot here in a second because uh, I'm not seeing any more action over here. And I'd like to try a rooster tail 
over at that other spot. Especially before we lose sun for the day. All right, yeah, I think, I think this spot is all done for right now. So we're gonna go ahead and head back to that other spot and see if anything bites us over there with the rooster tail. All right, we made it back to this other fishing spot. Now let's hope that this black rooster tail will attract some attention in this section here. Now this section's a lot deeper than the other, so I'm not sure if it's gonna get us any luck or not. The sun is kind of splotchy here. So I'm not sure how great this is gonna go over here. I think if this water was clear, we'd be lighting up a bunch of trout right now. Might let that sit for a second. So we're gonna take a couple more casts here, guys, and then uh, we might call it a day. It's gonna be a little bit of a weird episode since we only caught one fish, but it was definitely a unique catch, we can honestly say that. And we'll definitely have to come back to this spot because just knowing that there's wild rainbows hanging out around here is a really good sign. And uh, it's just really cool that there's just a bunch of wild trout sitting up in this river. So I'm just gonna take a couple more casts here and then uh, if we don't catch anything, we'll call it a day. Alrighty guys, that's gonna conclude another episode of Fishing with Sepper. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey today. I just can't believe that I found this spot only two minutes away from my house, which just makes it that much better to fish because just knowing that I have this spot that close to my home is just amazing. So thank you guys so much again for stopping by. If you guys did enjoy this episode, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me, guys. Thank you so much. And if you guys want to check out some Sepper merch, make sure to click the link down in the description below. All right, we'll catch you next Sunday, boys. Whoosh.